Blavinaka, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very, very much for joining with us for the School of Science and Technology virtual information session. I know uh, you people are live, we joined with us from YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So welcome. My name is Elvin Prasad, and I'm from the School of Science and Technology, and I will be your host for one hour session. And within this one hour session, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to give you a lot of information in regards to the department, in regards to the schools. Uh, the School of Science and Technology itself have two departments, School uh, Department of Science and Department of Computer Science and Mathematics. And uh, the head of departments, my colleagues who are there, they are going to talk about the different programs which we have, the courses which are there. They will let you know about some of the scholarship opportunities, <clears throat> career paths, research and uh, projects which is happening in the school. And also, you will be able to listen to some of our alumni and their experience with us at the university. Also, uh, together with us, we have our colleagues from support services. They will also be able to let you know about the different services which they basically provide. Uh, and towards the end, we have a panel discussion and we also have a quiz session as well. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what you'll have to do is um, wherever you have joined us from, just let us know, put that in the chat, put, a, put that in the comments, and we will be able to be, and we will be live, like we will um, you now and we will mention you in this one hour session. All right, so uh, if you have any questions as well, any questions in regards to the programs um, for Department of Science or the school itself, what you will in our department as well what you'll have to do is just put that in the comments now without wasting much of time or further delay uh, it is my pleasure to invite the former dean of school of science and technology and the professor of information technology all the way from melbourne australia professor Sir ali I would like to welcome on behalf of School of Science and Technology in this virtual session. I'm Professor Abim Shokotali. Please stay with us. We, from School of Science and Technology, we have some unique things to share with you. In terms of few codes, we, from School of Science and Technology, first time introduced in Fiji, our team is very skilled and they are doing very well. You can check with our graduates. Our graduates are working top of the organization in Fiji. You may go to Fiji Airways, Fiji Sugar Corporation, please check with their manager. How are they doing? We have graduates, I'm connected with them in Australia. They are working, Amazon Web Service, they're working, Microsoft, they are working in the university, also some other organization. If anyone wants to talk to them, you can learn. Contact me. I'll pass the I'll pass the detail. You can learn from them after graduate. If you want, how you could get a position in overseas. In terms of research, we are really good. If you compare, we are small, but it doesn't mean we are weak. In terms of research, we got highest amount of research funding from US aid, EU, European Union, and some other organization. We are doing very well. I'm sure you know our message from media. Last month, American authority came to give one of the big grant to our school. Uh, during the COVID, we are not quiet. We are using most popular technology to support our students. The students are starting from home. 
The same technology I have seen in the Google using by top university in uh, America, such as Harvard. Finally, come with us, stay, learn, change, and then move forward to work top of, of the organization in South Pacific, also over the world. Then we can claim you are our ambassador for School of Science and Technology. Welcome. Stay with us. Hope to see you in 2022. Binaka. Binaka Makalevu, Professor uh, Ali, for the warm words of welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks once again for joining with us. Um, stay tuned, and if there is any comments, any questions, please feel free to put that in the chat or in the comment section, and we will mention you. Uh, next up, we have the head of department of the science, uh, um, HRE science, Dr. Ramel Prasad, and who is going to give us some overview of the science programs which we have, Dr. Ramel. Hello, everyone. So my name is Dr. Ramel Prasad, as Elvin mentioned, and I'm currently the head of the science department here at the University of Fiji. My email is there at the bottom. So if you have any questions, just drop an email. Also, the URL of our, sorry, SOST website is there at the bottom. Uh, click there and you can explore more. And on the side, I have got two pictures of our Sowani campus with beautiful weather. So if you join us, you will enjoy the weather and you will study with us. And I will give you the overview of the programs that we are going to offer here at the uh, University of Fiji. <clears throat> Looking at the awards and programs that we offer, so we offer programs from foundation level. Foundation science is very I mean, equivalent to year 13, and we have two strands. One is foundation science, the other one is foundation IT, and we have bachelor's degree, postgraduate diploma, master's up to PhD. And then on the side, I have got different uh, combinations that you can do. So uh, you can do combinations. Dr. Ramel, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, your, your presentation is not visible. So can you make it visible, please? Thank you. And sorry about that. Sorry? You, you have to go to the presentation mode. Please, please in presentation mode. OK, you can share, share the screen, maybe. Yes. Yeah, all good. All right. So looking at the programs of study, so we have, uh, we offer programs in foundation science, which is equivalent to year 30, as I mentioned. And we have programs of Bachelor of Environmental Science, which is in the government's priority area. And if you are doing that program, it's very, very a good one. And you will be studying courses such as environmental impact assessment, uh, natural resources management, public health and environment, uh, climate change plus atmospheric sciences. So these are all bundled together in this program and it will prepare you for the right job that you intend to do. In addition to that, we have Bachelor of Science uh, in different combinations of majors that you can do. You can do a major in biology and chemistry or a major, double major in biology and information technology. You can do BSc in chemistry and physics. or you can do a major, a double major in physics and IT or physics and mathematics. So the major in physics and mathematics, again, as I mentioned, is uh, uh, what we call in government's priority. So we always have shortage of graduates in that area, physics and mathematics, and physics and IT is also a very popular one. Moving on to the postgraduate ones. So in terms of postgraduate diploma, we have got postgraduate diploma in energy and environment, and we have got master of science in renewable energy management. So postgraduate diploma in energy and environment, this is a one year program. You can do this after you have uh, and uh, finish your MSc degree, uh, sorry, BSc degree rather, and then you can do your postgraduate diploma and you can also do master's degree as well. And for both these programs, there is also Machiwa entry. So if you have been working in the area of renewable energy or in the energy and environment areas for some time, you can also get entry into these programs. 
and these programs are suited for both academia and for practitioners. And we also offer postgraduate research from MSc and PhD, MSc Physics, MSc Environmental Science, PhD Physics, and PhD Environmental Sciences. These are research degree whereby you have to do a thesis in the end, and then you can do more research after doing these programs. So in conclusion, see you all in 2022 at Department of Science. We will inspire you to achieve your ambitions, give you the right mentoring support, build connections to create opportunities. Or in all, science shapes the future. So join us to be part of shaping the future. Don't forget to click on the uh, link at the bottom, www.edfg.ac.fj slash SOST. That is where you will find more information regarding our courses, programs, and if you have anything, you can drop an email and we will answer your queries. Thank you. Over to you, uh, Alvin. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Roman, for the overview of the science programs. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got some uh, some of our audience who have joined us, uh, Sakshi Shania, uh, all the way, year 13 student from Nawai Secondary School. Uh, welcome, uh, Sakshi, to this uh, SOST virtual session. Another one is Ayansh Prasad from Ba. Ayansh, thank you very much for joining with us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, next up, we have um, uh, Ms. Priyatma Singh to share with us some of the path of uh, science graduate pathways, and we'll let, you, uh, let us know about what's happening in the science department. Yeah, you are muted. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be speaking to you all today. My name is Priyatma Singh and I'm from the Department of Science. I teach biology at the Department of Science. Today I'll be sharing some information on science graduate pathways. And uh, before I do this, actually, um, I wish to share with you some information regarding our online teaching and learning. Now, during the peak COVID-19 crisis in Fiji, we did not stop teaching and learning. As soon as lockdown was announced, we immediately went onto a online teaching and learning platform. And when we moved onto the online teaching and learning platform, we adopted a new platform called Top Hat. And I'm sure you will be hearing about this from my colleagues as well. And this platform enabled us to interact with our students in more or less, more or less the same way as we would have interacted with them in a face-to-face -face mode. And not just for the teaching of lectures and tutorials, but even for the laboratory, classes, we managed to go on an online mode and we adopted a new platform called Beyond Labs. And this allowed us to do the labs virtually. So we have a really amazing online teaching and learning platform at the University of Fiji. And not just online platform, but if you were to join us face to face at the university, at the campus, then we have a very conducive learning environment for you as well. We have nice laboratory classrooms, we have good facilities where you can enjoy your learning with your peers. It will give you a good um, experience, academic experience at the University of Fiji because of the good atmosphere, learning atmosphere that we have. Now, in terms of our courses and programs, as you have heard from Dr. Prasad, our head of Department of Science, we offer courses and programs from foundation right up to the PhD level. So we provide you with all the opportunities at the Department of Science. And even for our programs and courses, we look at the government priority areas. So we closely follow what our government is trying to do. So for instance, we look at the 20 year development plan that has been established by the government recently. We look at their climate policies, we look at the environmental policies, and we ensure that our courses and programs are well aligned to the government priority areas. So I suggest and strongly recommend that you keep a tab on the government priority areas of 2022, and these include, for instance, environmental science, fisheries and forests, geographical information system, marine science, sustainable energy and climate change, metrology, applied climatology, um, Bachelor of Education, especially in mathematics and physics field. So these are some of the priority areas, and if you wish to 
enroll with us next year, you can take up these courses under the various programs that we have. And in particular, one of the most popular programs that we have is the environmental science program, which is quite interdisciplinary in nature. So our graduates are employed in, in biodiversity and conservation field. Uh, they're engaged in a lot of climate change adaptation mitigation projects. I think all of you are quite aware at the moment that um, our prime minister is leading a delegation of some Fijian policymakers uh, at Glasgow in Scotland for the COP26 and is lobbying for some climate financing so that we can in increase climate resilience of our fellow Fijians. So there will be a lot of opportunities coming up in this area of climate change adaptation and mitigation in the next, uh, uh, next couple of years. Um, our students are also employed at the research institutes and various government ministries and departments as well. And something that I wish to emphasize right now is the fact that our students are very successful in gaining scholarships for further studies. And this is not just locally, but internationally as well. For instance, we have uh, students that are currently doing their masters or the PhD program even at the overseas universities. So our programs and courses make you quite popular, marketable, and you can easily attain scholarships as well. Um, like Professor Ali and Dr. Ramendra Prasad shared earlier, we are heavily engaged in international projects and we have established good research collaborations. And this is not just restricted to the lecturers or the instructors, but we open up our research projects to our students as well. So we participate in various projects, conferences, seminars, uh, training programs, and we ensure that our students are with us in all these various programs that we conduct. So once you are with us at the Department of Science, we will give you opportunities to participate in these practical projects where you can meet a lot of people, where you can you know, expand your contacts. So we have a very good research network that you can be part of, and that will give you opportunity to come in contact with some very renowned people locally as well as internationally. And once you get in touch with these people, it's very easy to obtain some scholarships to pursue further studies, or you can easily obtain a job at one of the NGOs or government ministries. Um, just recently, we launched a, a project um, which was in partnership, which is in partnership with the USA Pacific American Front. Fund. It is a large pro uh, project that we are uh, undertaking. It's called Development of Entrepreneurial Skills Post-COVID-19 Through Rural Agriculture. And this is just recently launched. So if you do join us next year, you can have the opportunity to be part of this project through the next three years. Um, that's all for today, but if you have any questions at all, you can note on my email address, you can note on our, you know, our SOST um, address as well, and you can please contact me at any time. And also if you have questions, you can post in uh, today's session as well, and we'll be able to answer them. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, very much, Ms. Priyat Singh, uh, for those uh, enlightenment uh, on the projects and the research which is being done at the Department of Science. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, uh, please keep on uh, putting the questions in the chat. We have received some questions which is going to be dealt with during our panel discussion, which is going to happen towards the end of this particular program. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to um, listen to the University uh, Department of Science alumni. Uh, friends, uh, the success of a teacher or success of an institute is always going to depend on the alumni and the contribution the alumni makes towards nation building. So let's uh, quickly listen to Mr. Ronil Prasad, and he's going to talk to us about his experience at the university. Mr. Prasad. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, Angula, everyone. My name is uh, Ronil Prasad. Uh, I'm currently the laboratory technician with Department of Science at the University of Fiji. Uh, and I'm proud to say that uh, uh, this is my sixth year of service to the university. My career, my career started as soon as I graduated with a bachelor of uh, uh, degree in biology and chemistry from the University of Fiji. 
So as soon as I completed my final exams, I was able to join the Sugar Research Institute of Fiji uh, as an attache in their tissue culture lab. That was in year 2014, followed by Douglas Pharmaceuticals Limited, where I was employed as the quality control chemist, and I served them for one year. I was able to gain a lot of uh, laboratory hand-on experiences before I joined the University of Fiji as laboratory technician in Department of Science in the year 2015. It is a prestige to speak and share my student life experiences at the science department. Why I chose to study with Department of Science is, I still vividly remember when I was in Natumba High School. Uh, we had attended the University of Fiji's open day and the staffs of the campus were very helpful in providing us with the relevant information about their study programs and courses which were offered at the university. My favorite subjects back in high school were biology and chemistry. Therefore, without making any further um, decision, I got into uh, Bachelor of Science and I got enrolled into uh, doing biology and chemistry. As a graduate of this university, I personally feel the staff work really hard in nurturing their students and preparing them well for the workforce. When I had joined the university as a student, I did not have much experience with glass wells, instruments, etc. I was a bit afraid to handle chemicals and reagents, thinking that it might react if I happened to miss a step prior to the experiment. The good news is, with time, I became familiar and confident to all this. The credit, of course, goes out to my mentors at the science department. My words of advice to the aspiring scientist is to never lose hope and have strong faith in yourself. Challenges are part of life, but how you overcome these will matter the most and make right choices in life. Time and tide waits for no one. Join the Department of Science and build your career in science. Department of Science focus on research-based teaching and learning. Now with the current pandemic situation, I understand things may be a bit stressful and challenging. Therefore, invest more time in your studies and you will surely be rewarded later. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors and I would like to see all of you join our science programs next year. Till then, stay safe and take care of yourselves. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, Ronil, for uh, sharing us, sharing with us your experience at the university. Ladies and gentlemen, we still, uh, we, have, we are getting some questions and those questions number, questions is, number going is going to be into, into and will be, and will be shared at the, at at the, the uh, moderator. I mean, the moderators are going to share and are going to discuss that. Discuss end. that. Next end. up, we have Next Shibil up, Raj, we have uh, who, is Raj uh, who is going to well. share us with the experience as well. Shivil, uh, you'll have to unmute. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, I think that is yes. Uh, so for the School of Science and Technology um, at Department of Science, I'll be speaking as an alumnus for Mathematics and Physics. So yes, uh, my name is Shivil Raj and I started my degree for maths and physics in 2012. I completed my studies in 2014. Graduation was in 2015. Currently I am at Fiji Airports uh, at the Air Traffic Management Department, ATM. And my current position is a flight information service officer, both international and uh, local. For, uh, apart from my employment, I'm also currently doing my master's in uh, renewable energy management as well. So after I, I graduated, actually just after I completed my studies, uh, I was accepted into the program for air traffic, uh, basic air traffic control course at uh, Fiji airports. I started the course in early 2015, right after my um, finishing my studies. And throughout those years, I. I rose to the ranks. At first, I was a flight data officer and then flight information service officer. I was also training as an air traffic uh, controller, about to finish. Uh, unfortunately, COVID uh, hit and uh, traffic 
uh, reduced so much that we could not complete our training. Anyway, we are um, currently we are involved in uh, assimilation uh, training exercises uh, at uh, at our department. So in the photos, you can see um, what uh, basically my work is. There's a uh, uh, down below here at the bottom right, you can see that's the basic uh, view from the Navy control tower. That's uh, a prominent uh, landmark for air traffic management department all over the world, the control tower. But not just the control tower, we uh, control flights. We also have um, other radar services that are currently being implemented. You can see on the bottom left, that's the radar service and the uh, electronic system we have just installed. Uh, that all through during this pandemic and in the middle here um, that's the airspace the Fiji airspace that we have if you notice that's uh, the Fiji the two islands right in the center and that green outline that's uh, Fiji's uh, airspace so that is all the flights that we control uh, normally you might think that because of COVID there's no flights into Fiji but there's always flights flying around uh, going through our airspace and that's what we do that's what we're doing uh, during the pandemic that kept us going. And the others are just um, some of the courses that we went through at, uh, at our work that uh, we graduated from. And so, yes, that is my career after I completed my studies here at uh, the University of Fiji. So studying at the University of Fiji, it helped me greatly with what I'm doing at work. Uh, when I studied medicine and physics, there's a lot of analytics uh, uh, in my work. Uh, methods of separation that require time and all that needs calculation, even the physics concepts. Um, um, learning how aircrafts work, their mechanics, uh, even meteorology is a big part of what we do. So all that concepts, uh, learning physics and maths at the university greatly helped in my work. Um, apart from that, why I joined initially maths and physics, I wanted to work at the uh, meteorology center. And uh, as it happened, I joined uh, the air traffic management department, but that's why I initially wanted to do maths and physics. Also, um, the great facilities that uh, at the university, uh, you might have heard of the science lab, the new one that's just been made, um, even the IT labs. So all these uh, facilities, they greatly helped in my studies. The lecturers were subject matter experts in uh, whatever they taught, and uh, we have uh, in climate science, whether it be in climate science, whether it be renewable energy, whether it be mathematics, uh, even artificial intelligence that's coming up in the university, uh, you will notice that uh, the lecturers are very, they know what they're talking about and that greatly helps in your learning as well. And what we are learning are relevant to Fiji's uh, sectors, um, whether it be, uh, say, what what's, uh, if you're learning about renewable energy, what the Department of Energy is doing and what their policies are, whether it be climate science, what is happening around the world, what and how it's relevant to Fiji. So oh, as, as soon as you uh, leave your studies and if you are able to join any of those sectors, you will be uh, transitioning seamlessly into, into those sectors as well. So that is some of the reasons why I studied the University of Fiji. And the opportunities after you study, the career options. Um, where, when I started, um, uh, to be honest, I did not really uh, know the variety of career options that I had doing maths and physics. I joined initially because of I wanted to be in the meteorology department, but if you see, uh, if you look for jobs around, then you'll see how much uh, opportunities you have. Uh, for example, the Department of Energy and Lands, they require scientific officers, uh, they require this maths and physics um, degree. So directly, there you go, uh, more opportunities, even Department of Environment, Climate, um, as uh, Priyatma has uh, mentioned earlier, so much funding is going to be into the climate science and we need uh, more people, experts in that, to help uh, use those funds in a way that can benefit everyone. And obviously, uh, there's uh, teaching options. Uh, for maths and physics, there's always a need uh, in the Ministry of uh, Education. So you have so much career options when you are uh, when you have studied maths and physics at the University of Fiji, both local and regional organizations as well. Um, so apart from that, also further education, which has been mentioned, Postgraduate studies at the university uh, is available and also scholarships abroad um, if you are able to search. Now is the time to look uh, at those scholarships to see what you can study and where the priority areas are uh, for the scholarships to be accepted. 
and also look for uh, look out for job opportunities. Um, you can look uh, not just in the newspapers, but organizations that you want to join and see what requirements there are. And now that you'll see the benefit of studying science uh, uh, at the University of uh, Fiji. So that's uh, all for my presentation. So just to conclude, uh, uh, those who are contemplating to come uh, study at the University of Fiji, uh, do your research and hopefully you will make the right choice and uh, see you all at the university next year. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Raj, for uh, sharing, us with, uh, sharing us your experience. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have Pix Moji and uh, Sage Pong who have joined us. Uh, thank you and welcome to the School of Science and Technology virtual session. Ladies and gentlemen, next up we have uh, the Department of Computer Science and Mathematics and I'll call upon uh, Mr. Chone Vukinakauna to address us all and talk to us about the programs offered at the department level. Mr. Chone. Mr. Chone, your uh, mic yeah, is welcome. Here. Yeah, welcome to the School of Science and Technology uh, virtual information session. I will be talking about the uh, overview of the um, computer science and uh, mathematics department. Okay, in our computer science and uh, mathematics uh, departments, we have a foundation study. Uh, this foundation study is equivalent to the year 13 or year 13 New Zealand Australian secondary schools. And uh, we have a foundation in science of information technology and mathematics. And this uh, program creates uh, an alternative pathway for to degree studies, especially for those students who just reached uh, year 12, uh, Fiji or New Zealand or Australia, or in the uh, uh, Pacific Islands, if you completed your uh, secondary school uh, high level in uh, one of the Pacific Islands, you can uh, join our foundation our program. And also uh, we have the uh, undergraduate uh, program, uh, which is, uh, we have here a diploma in IT, it's two years uh, program. Um, and there's about um, four in 16 units for you to do eh, in this uh, diploma. And um, for the Bachelor of Information Technology, it uh, is a three-year program and it has uh, 24 units for you to uh, complete that program and uh, in your second year you have electives to choose from whether you do a software engineering or multimedia um, programs and we also have a double major in information technology or IT as a second major for example Bachelor of Science in IT and Maths, IT and Physics, IT and biology, IT and chemistry, and also a double major in a Bachelor of Commerce, BCom. We have uh, IT and management, IT and accounting, and IT and uh, economics, and also a double major in a Bachelor of uh, Arts, which is English uh, language and uh, literature and IT. And, uh, remember, uh, if you want to join a uh, Bachelor of uh, IT. The requirement uh, is uh, an aggregate of 200 marks, and uh, which includes uh, math, uh, English, English uh, over 50, and any other uh, three subjects uh, to uh, to come up with a total of 200 uh, marks. And the uh, we have a postgrad uh, program as well, and in this postgrad we offer PGD IT and a postgraduate diploma in mathematics. This is a two-year program. And uh, we also have a Master's of Science in Information Technology and a Master of Information Technology. And uh, in this uh, program, we have uh, a choice whether you uh, uh, do thesis, a full thesis, or you do uh, a mini thesis, or you do um, uh, eight units, uh, full coursework. We also have Masters of Science in uh, Mathematics and uh, a Doctor of Philosophy in Information Technology 
or PhD in IT that cover the area of modern ICT. Uh, that is where we have our uh, professor, Mom, uh, uh, Professor Saukat Ali, who is here with us. He will be uh, uh, taking us, uh, those who are willing to study PhD in IT from 2022. And we uh, would like to thank you uh, very much for listening. Uh, we have our website there, unifiji.ac.fj forward slash SOST. You can view all the details of uh, both the departments of science and uh, computer science and uh, mathematics there. And you can email us as well for our staff consultation. We have uh, Kunal Kumar or Sangeeta Menon uh, for mathematics and Kunal for uh, computer science and mathematics. Once again, uh, thank you. I give it uh, over to you to uh, Elvin. Thank you very, very much, uh, Mr. Wuki Nagauna. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, just uh, check the comment section or the chat section. We have some competitions running uh, for the Department of Science and Department of Computer Science and Mathematics. You can always participate and win uh, good prizes. Next up, we have uh, alumni from the Department of Computer Science and Mathematics who is going to share um, his experience with us. Unfortunately, he is unable to be with us today, so uh, he has sent us a recorded video uh, for all of us. So, uh, Shane Yilda, thank you. Hello, a warm hello to everyone. I am Shanil Chan and I graduated with a degree in Mathematics and Physics in 2020 from the University of Fiji and I would like to talk to you about Mathematics as a major. Uh, mathematics is a very very vital field and I think that it is on the top of all sciences. Um, the very basis of the world we live in is governed by the laws of nature which uses mathematics as a tool to understand how what happens uh, mathematics lies in each and every living and non-living thing on the planet and beyond from the tiniest of specks to the largest of stars and black holes in outer space over years the refinement of our knowledge in mathematics has aided the human race from stone age to post industrialization so if you take out uh, mathematics from the equation, then life as we know it might not even exist. Patterns in nature from how flowers bloom, how pine cones are open, to how segments in starfish and the arrangement of seeds in sunflower closely resemble a well-known uh, sequence known as the Fibonacci sequence. It has also been renamed as the Golden Ratio. These are some of the hints that nature uses mathematics. The world of wonder and joy exists in mathematics and those who can observe it are from my point unique and typical. <coughs> Why Unifiji you might ask? Unifiji has great mentors in the field of mathematics that can help you unfold the mysteries of the universe. The relatively high interpersonal ratio ensures that you will receive assistance if required and they will always be there to help. The campus library and the computer lab provide ample material for personal curiosity to be quenched and the calm and peaceful environment allows education to pursue unhindered. Uh, moving on, uh, looking at some of the possibilities uh, having mathematics as a major. Since it is such a essential field, uh, it is very versatile also. Teaching is a potential career path as secondary and tertiary school teachers are generally required and there's always a short of, uh, shortage of them. If you can also couple mathematics with physics for meteorology and analytics and also research, you can combine it with, with computing and programming to move into IT and actuaries. Actuaries are basically people who uh, manage this or calculate risks uh, for a business and finally you can also merge accounting for strategy uh, to become a strategic planner or uh, investment ad administrator and also bank credit advisor thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of the opening thank you uh, mr Shane Yilda.
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, next up we have uh, Ms. Seriana Drew all the way from the Sioux, from the capital city. Seriana, floor is yours. Uh, good afternoon and Bolivinaka um, viewers and also to the staff of the University of Fiji. Um, I'm an alumni of uh, the School of Science and Technology from the uh, Department of Information Technology and um, I will be talking about my experience uh, with the University of Fiji. So I have uh, joined the university uh, right after I finished my high school back in 2010. So I did my degree with the university from 2011 to 2013. Um, then I went on to do my postgraduate with the university as well uh, from 2016 to 18. And now I'm currently uh, completing my master's in IT. So the reason why I've chosen the University of Fiji was basically the first thing was it was affordable as I was staying in Nandi and it was quite reasonable to go to university that was close to home and uh, did not spend a lot of expenses in coming down to Suva or to other universities uh, that provided the same environment uh, any tertiary institute could provide. And also the university was quite flexible, even though I moved to Suva during a um, after doing my degree with the university, I was still able to uh, uh, be part of the university and continuing my study, uh, even though I was far from the university, in which way they were quite flexible with accommodating my time uh, to complete my studies. Uh, the old other thing was the staff are quite friendly. Um, the university has become a part of a family to me. Uh, it's a second home to me whereby I can always go back and I feel welcome with the open arms from the uh, lecturers and the support staff as well. And lastly, they are future ready. Uh, the courses that they offer are quite um, they meet the market need. So when you graduate from the university, are you um, sure that there will be a job for you in the uh, market in Fiji today? Mm -hmm. So my profession uh, that I am currently in is a business analyst. So from the things that I've learned from the university, it has uh, embarked me into a journey whereby it has opened doors and I've reached uh, places that I never thought I could be. And our MC today, Mr. Elvin, was one of the um, uh, impact in which I learned a lot about system analysts from and I'm thankful that the other lecturers are also part of that journey and I hope to continue to go with them. So for future uh, students that are hoping or looking for a, a ideal university, uh, please do choose University of Fiji uh, where you can continue to, re to learn, uh, you will grow with them and be part of a team that's always curious, always learning and always growing. So without further ado, I hope you stay safe and uh, we hope to see you with the University of Fiji in 2022, Naka. Thank you, uh, Ms. Jew, for uh, sharing your experience. Definitely, I agree with you. Studying away from uh, uh, home is very difficult. You'll have to have two timetables. One um, uh, study timetable, another one is who is going to sweep and who is going to cook and all those things. Uh, so next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have our colleagues from the support services who have joined uh, uh, with us from the student academic services, we have uh, assistant registrar, Ms. Natasha Mudliar, finance office, we have Ms. Harpreet Kaur, and IT related services, we have Mr. Arjun Pillay. So I'd like to welcome uh, Ms. Natasha Mudliar to tell us about the academic services at the university. Ms. Natasha. Okay, thank you so much, Elvin. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Okay, today uh, I'll be presenting on behalf of the Office of the Registrar, and my presentation will highlight two in very important details, which is the admission process and our contact details. Now, there are five very basic steps to the admission process. The first step is to fill the form. Now, these forms can be very easily available on our website. They're editable, for is is easy for you to edit it, uh, add in and send it to us by email. The second step is to attach the admission form with relevant documents. Now, when you are going to download the uh, admission forms, there's going to be a checklist. Make sure that all necessary documents are attached, such as your birth certificate, your TIN letter, passport size photos, and all your relevant qualification details. In, in uh, For situations for year 13 and 12, you have not received your year 13 results. Do not worry. Please send your application. You can submit your results later. Now, once you send 
all of these applications to our admissions teams. That is, you're supposed to email it to us at admissions at unipg.ac.fj. Now, once you have sent us the email, the third step is where our team will accept your application and send you a notice stating that we, we take, we acknowledge receipt of your application. And that means your application has been received for processing. Step four. Step four is when we have received your results. You either you can send it to us at admissions at unifiji.ac.fj or we can obtain your results from the ministry directly. After we have assessed your applications, we will issue you a offer letter. You are required to go through the offer letter and sign and submit it to our team back. Once we have received your signed copy of your offer letter, we will issue you, that's our fifth step, is your ID and password to log in to our online registration, where you will select the courses you're required to do for the term. And it will go through an approval process, which will be later explained by our finance team. Now, in in this step, five steps, if you are confused, you are unsure, feel free to email us at sas at unifg.ac.fj. We are here to help you. If you go to the website, you will notice there's a chat platform. Do uh, access it. It's available on the website from 8 to 4 uh, on weekdays. And, and you can even leave a message after its uh, duration, it will give us our email notification that we have received a question from you and our team will get back to you later. Now, for those students who wish to submit us hard copy of the application forms, please do it to our postal address, attention it to Student Academic Services, the University of Fiji, private mailbag, Suva. sorry, Lotoka. Now, the contact information, uh, you can contact our team in Lotoka, Savini campus at 6640-600 or, or at Samabula campus at 3373-614. Thank you for joining. Please, if you have any questions, feel free to ask us. We're here to help you and we will assist in any possible way. We would not disregard any of your questions. We are here to help. We know you are in a situation where you're confused. We will help you as much as we can. Thank you so much. So uh, now I will hand it over to our finance team, Ms. Harpreet Kaur, please assist us. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Harpreet, Senior Finance Assistant from Finance Team. Uh, my slides will be on enrollment process, payment details, fee details, and the sponsorship and contact person. The team is responsible for receiving cash. Student enrollment is confirmed once student pays their registration fee which is to be done after they receive confirmation on the approval of units. When student pays their registration fee, they are required to upload their remittance slip on an online registration portal. The team will further process their application. Or if enrolling through manual registration form, students to pay cash to finance office with a copy of the registration form or can, or can pay directly to bank or via online or m -Pesa and email the copy of remittance slip with their approved registration form. An invoice and receipt is raised, stamped, and is issued, which is a confirmation that enrollment process has been completed and a student has been enrolled in the university system. This is the investment when making a payment or bank transfer or making payment via M-Pesa. Students are required to write down their student ID number in narration part or ref part. In 2022, there is a 10% reduction in tuition fees for all programs. And if students are facing any financial difficulties in regards to payment of fees, you can always lease with our IR finance team and we'll be always there to assist you and, can have, and there can be a payment arrangement as well.
All sponsored students are required to submit their sponsorship confirmation letter to finance office via email or drop a hard copy to finance office with their ID number stated on the confirmation letter. Students' billings will only be sent if the name is provided by their respective sponsors. For any queries in regards to fee, you can always contact our team on arfinance at unifi.fj or can call us directly on 6640-600 on extension 160270 or 274. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon all. My name is Arjun from ID Services and the position is assistant administrator. I will go through a process on uh, what are the services that ID Services provide. If you've heard earlier about admissions and finance, now the last part will be all your login details will be received on your PC login, your student email login, and your Moodle account uh, creation. And as you know, we are, we are on top hat. We look using the online uh, virtual learning platform. As you can see that uh, on my screen, uh, I shared the slide regarding the special aspects of the top hat, where the lecturers will virtually engage the students by showing them the slides, and also the students will uh, view their content, meaning the PowerPoint slide, the, the, uh, all the uh, materials which are on top hat. Also, in between, the lecturers will uh, incorporate uh, quizzes, discussion forums for the students to participate and to for more understanding of uh, the the lecture which is taking place. As you know, due to COVID uh, crisis, students are not allowed to come to the science labs to do the experiment physically. But the Beyond Lab does the job, and you can see on my uh, screen, I have uh, did some screenshot of the of virtual uh, online simulators for uh, Beyond Lab. Once the top eight account is created, the science students will create the Beyond Lab. Uh, account and the activation code will be provided by the instructor where, whereby the students will join the the virtual session uh, virtually not physically even though you are sitting at your comfort zone you can access your your beyond slab virtually using your devices any smart devices and also even and you don't have to be worried about what have you done meaning the mistake or yeah, if you can see in the movies or anywhere, once the two chemical reaction they expose and you can see the faces get black or blue, but don't worry about in this, you will be safe side. So lastly, we can have see, you can see we have Moodle as well. Once you have done with all your station, the last part will be a Moodle, whereby you'll able to see which other courses you have, you are taken into once you have enrolled in that particular program. Not only Moodle and Topair, we also provide services in student email, login details, PC login details, Topair, Moodle, and also IT related issues. Our contact details are IT services at unifigi.ac.fj. Thank you and we'd like to see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, very much, uh, colleagues from the support services, Dasha Mugliar. Uh, Pete Kaur and uh, Arjun Pillai. Ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the uh, uh, question and answer session and we have our panel members who are going to answer some of the questions which we have. So we have got some questions, uh, two questions in fact from Tix Moji. Tix is uh, asking us, uh, is there any course available for agricultural engineering? And we will have uh, our colleague uh, Zafia Nas to answer that for us. Zafia? Hi, um, so Elvin and uh, the dear participants. So we have um, a question based on the agriculture engineering program from Moji and also from Sage Fong. So I'll address those two together. So um, Sage Fong and Moji, thank you for your question. And it is a very um, good question. Um, I'd like to uh, reiterate that agriculture is one of the priority areas, government priority areas when it comes to um, scholarship and also for loan opportunities. So keeping that in mind, yes, we do, we do have a new agriculture engineering science program. 
and it is currently at the stage of a registration with FHEC and we hope to start offering that in the year 2022. So we encourage you to apply with us at the University of Fiji. In addition to that, we also have a Bachelor of Environmental Science program, which is also a demanding field. So if you are interested in any of these courses, please reach out to us, especially our head of department, Dr. Ramendra Prasad, and we will be able to guide you based on your specific needs. Uh, I hope I have answered your question. Thank you, Moji and uh, Sage Fong. Uh, thank you very much, Zakia, for uh, explanation. I hope uh, our audience have understood six Moji and Sage Fong. Thank you for the question. Next, we have um, another question from Pix Moji. Do, do you offer uh, civil engineering? So we have Mr. Kunal Kumar, who is going to uh, highlight on that. Mr. Kunal. Uh, thank you, um, um, Tix, uh, Mr. Tix, uh, for the question on uh, civil engineering. So my name is Kunal, and I'm a lecturer in computer science and um, information technology here at the University of Fiji. And uh, so I'll uh, basically answer the question. So basically, we do not have uh, uh, civil engineering being offered here at the University of Fiji. But what we do have is software engineering that we have offered at the um, uh, Department of Computer Science and Mathematics. So let me just take a minute to talk about our software engineering um, program that we offer. So what we offer is, um, it's a complete package. So what we offer is, uh, we'll teach you web applications, we'll teach you desktop applications, we'll teach you uh, mobile applications, games programming. So it's a complete package and you learn everything from it. And uh, we teach um, uh, leading programming languages such as C-sharp, such as Java, such as ASP.NET, VB.NET or Python. So if you are an IT enthusiast, then you'll know what I'm talking about. And these are global standards, so whatever we teach teach you here in the programming languages that we teach you here you will take it with you anywhere in the world because it's a global standard so it's something that everyone uses it's not specific to just fiji and uh, apart from that we also offer graphics and animation as a specialization whereby you'll learn about uh, uh, creating amazing um, graphics and animations from our uh, graphics team and apart from that our bachelor's program also includes uh, 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 information security, network security, data mining, databases, machine learning, um, and as well as project management. So that's what we offer. And uh, as you know, with technology, the opportunities are limitless. So you will have a lot of flexibility and a lot of opportunities to market yourself once you complete a degree with us in IT. Thank you very much. All right, uh, thank you. Uh... Mr. Kumar for uh, highlighting us on that. We have another question from Nikhil Navneel Chan. Nikhil is asking, do you provide any management courses in December 2021 to February 2022 period? That means I think he's asking about uh, summer courses. So I think that will be answered by uh, next up. We have uh, SOBE, uh, School of Business and Economics, and they will be able to answer the particular question. Uh, thank you, um, Nikhil, for that particular question. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any other question or uh, any queries, please feel free to contact us. We um, have our university, uh, University of Fiji web website, and also our um, website. Uh, we have SOST website as well, where you will be able to um, go into. We have SOST website where you, you'll get to know about everything, whatever you, we do at the department level. And at the bottom of the particular page, web page, you will have a space, a place where you can put in your question and we'll definitely answer that for you. All right, so um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you uh, once again. So we are coming to the end of this particular session. Also remember, we have some competitions running, the poster competitions which we have and the links are already provided in the chat section, in the comment section. So please feel free. Uh, you will be able to, uh, please feel free to participate in, into it. And if there's any questions or any issues in regards to the posters, please contact the people who are, the names are already there in the posters. You can just contact them. Um, also at the end, I'll just say, uh, you must have heard this particular uh, proverb, a very um, interesting, beautiful proverb as well, where it says a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So um, 
what we are here for is to help you to take that particular single step. All right, so please feel free to join us. If there's anything, if you are around Lotoka, you want to come and join us, please go ahead. We'll be here to help you out. Also, we have a quiz uh, competition, which we are going to run. Um, and it, the link for the quiz, you'll have to just register yourself and answer the quiz questions. Four quiz questions we have in the um, a panel. So the link is going to be posted in the comment section. So please click on the link and answer to win uh, prizes, attractive prizes as well. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you very, very much. And thanks for joining once again. Next up, we have School of Business and Economics. So please enjoy the rest of the day. Binakavakalevu.